Guys, so decided to do a second video and this video isn't a log about the actual rotation. So today while talking to my consultant, um, we were talking about routes for training for those who want to pursue oral the facial surgery in the United States or United Kingdom, pretty much anywhere in the world. So my consultant's degree is from an Asian country and she did her fellowship in craniofacial surgery in the United States. Then she subsequently did her NBDE and then she did a licensing board exam for one of the states in the United States, which was, um, which allows, she said allows her to work in that state, but only in that state. So we were talking and then one thing at another and I realized, she realized then that I was actually a medical doctor because she thought I was a medical student who had switched to dentistry. And that's not the case, I'm a medical doctor who is now doing dentistry. So when I informed her of the fact that I'm a medical doctor, she was like, well, you know, you have an added advantage because you, have, you always have the USMLA route. So she was informing me that the issue is when, the reason why they want you to go back to school in dentistry is to be licensed as a dentist in the United States. So if you go back to school for the two years, you're fully licensed. She also said that when she did her fellowship in the, in the United States, she was not able to work in the United States at that point in time. In other words, she had to do her fellowship training in Cape Town in South Africa. So she did most of her cases in South Africa because her, she, she did not have a license that allowed her to touch patients in the United States. I'm just showing you things. So I, I was like, wow. So, I mean, you have a fellowship in the United States, but your fellowship is trained, is, is one from where you technically trained in, in outside the United States. But I mean, you, you still get the really good training and you, and you have to do like, she explained to me that she had to do uh, over 180 cases. And she did over 200 and something cases. So she was well over her, um, her quota. But that led to the conversation as though I was asking her, well, why couldn't you touch the United States patients? She said, well, you know, I'm not licensed. So she said to me, because I have a medical degree, then if I, if I was really serious about pursuing a career in oral maxillofacial surgery in the United States, I should then pursue the USMLE because the USMLE then will, give me, will get me ECFMG certification. Her brother apparently is a nephrologist in the United States. So she was saying, yes, you have the added advantage. Plus when you do the, the, the DDS or the DMD or the doctor of, the dent of medical, of doctor of dentistry or doctor of dental surgery, whatever degree you want to call it. Um, you have the added advantage over a person who's applying with just a dental degree. Now, this is coming on the heels that somebody that was trained in the United States was telling me about this route as well too, but I still was kind of skeptical because, you know, to spend all that money then to not be, be able to get into it. Because, I mean, I'm, I, I would be trying to transfer from general surgery to oral and facial surgery because remember general surgery does oral and facial surgery does a year of general surgery a year or two of general surgical training so that would be the route but my thing is this it's like it's still a long shot and I mean I'm still curious as to how would I go about doing this but I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. And in the light of the fact that I'm still trying to, to source funds for school, and then I'm also trying to source to make sure that I keep my head above the water in terms of supporting my family, you know, to add the, the cost of the USMLA examination plus the cost of a visa right now is, is not really what's on my mind. If I came into money, sure, I would do it. I, I would even go back to school for the two years. But yeah, for those that do have the money, this, this is a viable option. So if you have your medical degree and your dental degree, you can do the USMLE, go up, try to match for general surgery. And then if you can transfer to oral and facial surgery. But keep in mind that once you finish your oral and facial surgical program to stay in the United States and be able to work in any state you want to work, you have to still go back to school for the full two years. So there's no getting away from that. But if you want to do the program and just come out to your country, that's a route. So let's keep that in mind, guys.